Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna be making one of my favorite snacks. But first I wanna tell you how the scale is gonna be your best friend when it comes to losing weight or gaining weight, whatever your goals are. And it's not the scale that you're thinking of. It's actually this little thing. And it is important that you have a food scale that way you can get the most accurate amount of serving that you eat because sometimes it can be a little confusing trying to convert stuff off that food label or eyeball in a particular serving size having one of these you just enter the amount of weight in grams into whatever food nutrition calculator that you use and it tells you the exact amount of calories as well as nutrients in that serving that you have so uh, let's get right into it okay so let me show you how i make my peanut butter toast so today i'm going to be using dave's killer bread it's thin slices i'm just going to grab two slices right here what we do is we put the plate on the scale turn it on and what you see here is that it's already zeroed so it does not factor the weight of the plate starts you off at zero so once we place this on the plate it'll just count the weight of this bread all right so here you can see 56 grams we're gonna put this in our nutrition calculator and I personally like my bread toasted but notice how I waited before I toasted it because what's on the label it's actually straight out of the package so it does not factor in toasting toasting will lower the weight so it's Kind of important to do it before you actually toast it if that's what you want to do. And there it is, lightly toasted. And as you can see, we've already lost about five to six grams, which isn't a big deal with when it comes to bread. But when it comes to things like peanut butter, any nut products, or any high fatty foods, grams will make a difference. So I'm just going to put some on here because trying to eyeball this stuff. In the long term, it's gonna throw you off. Oh, and before I put it, very important, you wanna hit the tear button so it zeroes it. That means whatever amount of peanut butter we put on, it's gonna just measure the amount of peanut butter, not calculating the bread. All right, there we go. We got our peanut butter and it's 16 grams. So. Just gonna put that in the nutrition calculator. And that right there looks to be about 95 calories. Isn't that crazy? I bet you it's gonna be somewhere around the same amount of calories as this banana, that lightly thin layer. It's gonna be as much as one piece of banana. It's crazy, right? We're gonna tear it before we put it on. I'm just gonna thinly slice it. So not the prettiest job ever, but I'm gonna set this on the plate as well because I'll, I'll eat that piece of banana too. After all, I am the Bananiac. So there we go, we have our banana on and it's 101 grams. And yep, just as I suspected, it comes out to about 90 calories. So five calorie difference between the amount of peanut butter that we put on and the banana. But look at the amount of fiber, look at the amount of bulk that you get from the banana you're gonna end up being more satisfied than that peanut butter. Not to say that peanut butter is a bad food, I'm gonna eat it obviously, but just to be mindful, and that's where this scale comes into play. I'm gonna tear this, because then we're gonna put on our blueberries. And this is so delicious, this combo right here, it's one of my favorites. Sometimes I'll use almond butter, but this is still really good as well. Again, I'm not a culinary type of person or anything like that, but there you go, we put on our blueberries, 25 grams, 14 calories, which is essentially nothing. Berries don't have a lot of calories, but they do taste delicious and they're really good for you. Next, we're gonna put some hemp hearts on there and we also wanna tear it. That's one thing that we gotta be mindful. Okay, let's put on the hemp hearts. Okay. So about three grams there. Hemp seeds are obviously really good for you. Lots of omegas in there, healthy amino acids. And three grams equals 17 calories. So because they are actually a high fatty food, just like uh, nuts are, or peanuts, which are technically a legume, the amount of hemp seeds that we've put on here 
have just a little bit more calories than the amount of blueberries. And as you can see, the blueberries are much bigger in size than the hemp seeds, but they have just a little bit less calories than the hemp seeds. So that basically completes it right here and not to demonize any of these foods. All of these foods that you see right here are nutritious. They're really good for you. Uh, even the bread is a whole grain bread. It's not a white refined bread. All of this is healthy, but in the long term, if you're trying to reach your goals, whether you want to lose or gain weight, it's really important to know exactly how much food you're eating. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and I hope it inspires you to get a food scale. I know it took me forever, forever to get one. I pursued nutrition back in 2012 and I just got one this year and they're super cheap. I'll have a link in the description down below for a good one if you guys want to check it out. But it's definitely making a big difference because on certain days I would under eat and certain days I would overeat. So it's really good to have this that way I could kind of stay down the middle right to where I need to be in order to reach my goals. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate you coming by the channel. Subscribe for more videos just like this and I'll see you in the next video.